Well, hello, everybody. I'm Ronnie. I work with Maggie and Lauren with Whip and Chain to bring you beautiful crochet tutorials. Today is a beautiful one. This one looks like a ray of sunshine. They're dishcloths. You can do them in any color scheme you want. This was a free pattern I found, and I just love how it works up. The original tutorial that was done on this it's a little confusing, so I thought I'd whip a couple up and do the tutorial again, maybe to help you have some clarification on how to do this. It's beautiful. There's the size, I do not have big hands, but there's the size of my hands, so they're nice and big and very durable, and I love the ridging on it. All right, we're gonna dive right into this. I'm using a 5.0 H millimeter crochet hook. My clover hook's my favorite. You will need a darning needle and a pair of scissors. I am using just cotton yarn that was given to me, so I don't even have a label for this one anymore. But for kitchen projects, if you're gonna be using them, I highly recommend always 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 using 100 percent cotton acrylic and different types can burn can melt they can just be disastrous and that's just not what you want in the kitchen all right let's dive right into this we're going to start with a magic ring magic circle if you are not comfortable doing a magic circle i would love you to chain four slip stitch to the first chain and then chain up three if you did the magic ring you always chain one and then when you're making it so the so just chain two more one and two okay now in your circle i want you to put this one already counts i want you to put 11 more double crochets into the circle Ten, eleven, and twelve. Cinch your project tight. Okay. And in the chain three, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, eleven, twelve. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. In the chain three. At the top one, slip stitch it closed. Just like that. I'm bringing you in a little closer. Then now the next row is fairly easy. Chain three. And in the same stitch where you came out of, where you slip stitch together, put in one more double crochet. And in each stitch, just put in two double crochets. I'll do a couple with you and then I'll pause. So you should have 24 all together. Six, 
six. Seven and eight, and I'll be right back. Okay, make sure you count 24 because for beginning people that are just learning crochet, you're gonna see this stitch right here where your chain three comes out of, and you're gonna think that's a stitch where you have to put two doubles in, but it's not. So at the top of the chain three, just slip stitch in there. All right, now, this is where this project can get a little confusing, but just watch. Chain three, two, and three. Now, you follow this chain down, this double crochet, then you go down another one into the first row of double crochets, and there's your first following the whole chain down. Okay, so you're going to be working into this double crochet. So I want you to wrap your hook three times. Go over the front post of that very first row. Wrap your hook, come through, and then wrap and go through two. Wrap, go through two. Wrap, go through two. And wrap and go through two. Now we're going to come back up to the top and then the next stitch, the very next stitch, no skipping, I want you to put in a double crochet. And again in the very next stitch put another double crochet. Wrap the hook three times and you're going to your very next stitch. You're going to be using all 12 of these, okay? Your very next stitch and you do another. These are called double trebles. Wrap your hook, go through, two, 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 and two. Then you find your next stitch very next one that's empty you like I said you don't skip you put in a double crochet at the top and in the next stitch another double crochet and now you wrap your hook three times and you're going to the very next one down here just like that And then you do wrap and go through two all the way up. Okay, see the repetition? Let's do another one. Very next stitch, put in a double crochet, a double crochet in the next one, and then you wrap the hook three times. Right down. Okay, this is what you do for this whole row. And then you put in your double crochets at the top, two of them. One and two. All right, I will see you at the end of this row. So how are you guys making out going around? Are you understanding it okay? So in between each one, you do two regular double crochets at the top. The very next stitches. At the top, you're never skipping a stitch. like I just did. Oh, here we go. And... Hold on, let me see what I did. Okay, I 
was adding a stitch that I did not need to do. Up three, see, we're all human. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So for the next row, you're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. Okay. Now this next stitch is one of your double trebles, as you can see. See it going all the way up? In that stitch, you're gonna put in two double crochets. One and two. So then in the next two stitches, you put in just one double crochet. One and two. Then the next stitch is your double treble. So you put in two double crochets. One and two. Then one double crochet and the next two stitches. One and two. The next one is your double treble, so that gets two double crochets. Then the next two get one single. And that's how this works all the way around. All right, and you guys got this. I will see you at the end. Okay, when you come around, after you do your two, you should have one stitch left to do one more regular double crochet. And then you slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Whoops, slip stitch. There we go. That's what she looks like so far. All right. Let's dive into it. Chain three. There we go. Now, we're going to be looking for these V's that we did, where we did two double crochets. So, in the next stitch, you do a regular double crochet. But then you're in the top of that second V. See it? It goes straight down. That's where we're going to do another double treble, right around this spoke. See? Then we're going to do regular double crochets until we get to the next V. Okay? So that's one. Two, three, and four. And then we do a double treble all the way down. And you just pick up that spoke again. Okay. Then again, we do our double regular double crochets. It's one. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, all the way down. That's what this row is. If you need to move your spokes, to see your stitches by all means. Make sure you move them. This is three and four. 
Okay, you guys got this. And four. And you wrap three times. Go down and get your spook. I'll see you at the end. Okay, when you're all the way around, you should have one, two, and three stitches left. And then you slip stitch to the top of that chain four, or chain three, one, two, three. Okay, that's what she's looking like so far. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. So now we're on chain three. One, two, three. Then we're on single crochet. And the next stitch, single crochet, and the next up oh, two. That's the top of that double treble. Two double crochets in that one. One and two. And now we're doing a double crochet to our next double treble. So that's one. Hold on, let me get more yarn. two in the next one because that's the top of your double treble so that's one and two and then four regular one two three and four then you put two in the top one and two and then four again one two three and four and then you put in two. Let's do one more set together. One, two, three, and four, and two. one and two okay I'll meet you around okay how you guys making out doing good this project does grow fast which is nice so it's one two One, two, there we go. And then top of the chain three. Okay. Believe it or not, we only have two more rounds and then she is done. 
So, as you can see, this is a pretty fairly easy, um, fast project if you're a fast crocheter, which if anybody's been watching my videos for the past year, you know that I am not a fast crocheter. Just not who I am. So now let's do the next row. Chain three. One, two, and three. So we're going to do, we need to come over to the second one in the V, right? So that's one, two, three. So that's one double crochet, two, and three. Then we put two in the top. No, duh. Then we do our double treble. So we wrap the hook a total of three times, come down, grab it, and wrap, and you go through. Two, three, and four. Then we again do our double crochets at the top. One, two, three. Four, five, and one more, six. And then we do our double treble, one, three, go down and grab it, come on up, one, two, three, and four. And then we do our double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Wrap the hook three times and you go down. One, two, three, and four. That's one, two, and that's three, four. Five and six and wrap three times and go on down and grab it. Just like that. Let's do one more together. One, two, three. And six. Then you wrap three times. Okay. And then your six. So, good news is after this row, we have one more row. All right, let me get to the end and then we'll talk. Okay, when you're coming back around, you're going to finish up with your double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And you slip stitch. All right. Now, before we go on, here is what it looks like. So pretty. This pattern works out in plain, in colors, 
if you change the scalp boarding to another color, it can make a pop or you can go something more elegant like that. Whatever floats your boat or you can stick with this and use the same color for scallop. Absolutely your call. Okay. So this is the last row, everybody. Oh, let's slip on your hook. Now I need you to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Wrap your hook twice. You go back in that same stitch. Do a treble. One, two, and three. Do one more treble. One, two, and three. And let's do one more treble in there. And that is only half of the treble. We'll finish the other half when we come around. Okay? So then you're going to skip two. Then you're going to come to the top of your front post. Put one single crochet in the top of that one. And one single crochet in the next stitch. Then you skip two. Then you put seven, seven trebles in that next stitch after you skip two. So let's go. This is one. Two. Three. Four. six and this is seven okay have to get some more yarn out for me After this seven, I'm going to skip two, and you will be at the top of your front post. You do a single crochet in that stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch. Then you skip two, and then you will do your seven trebles again. So this is one, two. Three, four. Six and seven. Skip two, single crochet and single crochet. Then you skip two again and you will do your seven trebles. five six 
seven. And again, skip two, one single crochet, and one single crochet. Skip two, and then you do your seven trebles. And that is it. This will be the last row. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. I skip two and two single crochets. One. And two. All right, I'll see you at the end. How are you guys doing? Able to make it around with no issues? Your counts are good. Six, seven, skip two, one, and two. And I have, just to finish up my last one, and I already had four in there. So, what do I do? And I add three more. Whoops, three more trebles. Okay, just go in where those stitches are. One, two, and three. And then you slip stitch to the top of that chain four. And then what I do is I slip stitch to the next one so it doesn't throw off everything. Chain one and I cut. And then our final touches on this. So these are big enough where if you really wanted to use them as pot holders, you really could. But for my personal taste, I think there's too many holes in it. So I would not use it as a pot holder. But if it's as long as you're using your 100% cotton, you can choose what you want. But I am personally not recommending it to be a pot holder. I 
and there is our dishcloth that we made together. So there's that one in all one color. There's my black and white one. And here is the summer color one. Well, thank you guys for taking the time to watch my tutorials. I work alongside Maggie and Lauren with Whip and Chain to bring you these fun educational tutorials for crocheting. If you're enjoying our videos, can you please down below hit that like button and that subscribe button to let us know how we're doing. And you're more than welcome to come find us on Facebook under Whip for Work in Progress and Chain. Again, it's Facebook, WIP, and Chain. Until our next tutorial, everybody have a wonderful day. Happy crocheting.